I knew it. I knew it. It's been a really long time since I've been this excited to watch a video. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at Gold by Kiara covered by Pentatonix. Now, uh, I'm really excited for this video. A couple of you guys mentioned it in the Bohemian Rhapsody uh, video. Some of you guys mentioned that it was one of your favorite performances by Pentatonix. Some of you guys suggested it. Uh, but one particular comment stuck out to me, and I'm really sorry. I should have uh, checked it out before. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll find it and then I'll, and I'll kind of put it somewhere here so you guys can see. But one of you guys had mentioned that I really should watch the original to really have an appreciation for the Pentatonix version. And I am so glad that you mentioned that to me. So thank you so much. Turns out I had heard this song before. And the minute that I heard it, I knew exactly what you guys were talking about. So I'm so excited to see what Pentatonix does with this. So here we go. Kiara. I hope I'm saying that right. Gold. Pentatonix. Proof is falling, let me love, but I'm letting you know. Got up in my, got up in my teeth. God, that feels good. Don't care what you say to me, I'ma bite your feelings out. I miss you in the basement Got up, got up in my teeth now But your brother was a good substitute for you Damn, you sounds good And if you love me, love me, but you never let me go Yes Oh, roof is on fire, you never let me know You say you're sorry, honey, but you never really show You're sorry I can leave the party without ever letting you know Without ever letting you know Roof is falling, let me love it falling, I just know Roof is falling, let me love it falling, I just know Roof is falling, let me love it falling, I just know Without ever letting you know Okay, I'm so, uh, I'm so happy right now, I'm so happy with this I've watched a minute of this cover and I'm already so happy with it uh, So obviously I can't say definitively, obviously, but I'm 99% sure that this is filmed live. Gotta give my props where they're due. Avi, good lord. That that bass foundation is beautiful. Kevin is just laying down just... A, a, I mean, the dude's got so much flavor. It's it's embarrassing for the rest of us, you know, especially in percussionist drums and players. Mitch, you, <laughs> that dude, he just sounds so good in the, in the hook, I guess you could call it, of the song. And look, I'll never presume to know what somebody has or hasn't done. I can wager my best guess. And my best guess is that in the original song, that hook was was mostly the producer obviously you know the vocals are laid down but the producer i'm sure is the one that kind of put it together to get that really cool unique sound uh in the original but for my man mitch to come out here and just knock it out of the park with by himself with what looks like zero production that is just incredibly incredibly impressive and i don't have words to really convey to you how awesome it is that he is able to do this and it, he does such a good job i mean everything that those are the things that just kind of stuck out to me initially uh avi and kevin and mitch but you got the rest of them like the the, the backing the harmonies that come in every now and then so well placed and so well done musically and it just like it makes I mean, music is supposed to make you feel something and you know when i felt those harmonies when i heard those harmonies like ooh, that's beautiful but for me i'm just so impressed by those three you know i'm a sucker for bass and it's so crazy to hear him but it's like a new toy you know to hear that <laughs> Tastes like money when I speak. Get it, Kevin. Yeah, when I speak. I miss you in the basement. Oh, got up in my, got up in my. Bodies, bodies on the pavement. 
just didn't get it. Okay, so the one thing that kind of struck me about this little section here, I mean, obviously the harmonies are just, okay, everything going on here, let me be very clear, everything going on here is just 100% to die for, <laughs> first and foremost. But also, Kirsten and Scott, uh, I didn't really catch it. Uh, I know Kirsten for sure was doubling the, the bass part, harmonizing the bass part with Avi, and then I know Kirsten and Scott were kind of keeping those kind of supporting eighth notes in the background of some moments, but I mean, they weren't easy jumps, you know, like, j so I would imagine, I'm not a vocal person by any means, but I would imagine that they both involve some different techniques going from, you know, harmonizing the bass part and then jumping into a more melodically structured type <laughs> section where they're harmonizing with Mitch, uh, a little bit, I guess, more feel, not so much support role. And that's just so impressive. Oh, that harmony, Avi, Kevin getting down. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I just cannot with these people. I knew it. I knew that there was no way in H-E double hockey sticks that these guys were not going to take the chorus and split it among each other. That was... I mean, I knew when you guys suggested it, especially coming off the Bohemian Rhapsody uh, video where I was talking about them. Oh, by the way, uh, correction, I said guitar in that, in, in the intro to Bohemian Rhapsody, and it was actually piano. I don't know why I said guitar. It's a piano entrance that they end up splitting. But I knew that coming into this, after I you know remembered what song Gold was, that there was that they were they had to they had to split that uh hook and i thought they were gonna do it at the beginning but i'm so happy that they did it towards the end it just i don't know it adds like the, it's like the climax of the cover the climax of the song and it just it's like oh get it like okay for example i don't want to get too much of a tangent here but uh my main gig as some of you guys know is marching band drumline now it's more marching band, like not just drumline. I have like a, a drumline staff, a percussion staff. And I've kind of, uh, I'm still a caption head, but I've kind of starting to look big picture marching band kind of deal. Anyway, marching band show design is kind of like that. Uh, you At the very end is when you want to save that big moment to like it's the end of the show and you just want people to be like, oh, yeah, and then just clap forever in a day and then that get, gets you a lot of points just to have a big closer is what we call it um and there's a lot of nuanced stuff to it i don't want to get into it because i don't want to bore you but that's kind of what i'm reminded of in this cover like it's just it's written really well and i say that like every video but it's true uh this one was written in the kind of same way it, it, it builds up it builds up throughout the entire thing and then at the very end, we have this kind of show-stopping moment where they're splitting uh, the the hook, and it's just so awesome. And it's such it's such a perfect thing for them because they've each got their own timbre of their voice, and it fits in really well with the hook because the hook is just like it feels like these little uh, snapshots of music just kind of put together, and it gives this really cool effect, which I think they nailed perfectly. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> in closing what what can you say 
in 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 this there's you can't there's i would love to talk about my favorite part in this whole cover but i can't because they've all done such a phenomenal job in their respective parts like they've all done such amazing stuff avi just covering that bass line just to perfection and not an easy bass line like people take bass lines for granted people take bass players for granted people double take bass singers for granted because of all those jumps and part writing and the intervals are so big for bass bass singers bass players what <laughs> doesn't matter which one you pick um but it's harder for vocalists so yeah avi did such a good job kevin nails mitch amazing hook amazing hook and then kirsten and scott you know lending their voices to both supporting roles and melodic roles and it's just an amazing ensemble i say it every time but i'm just so I, i'm just so happy that i get to appreciate these guys uh in this way and just celebrate their excellent musicianship but yeah that's it for today's video thank you so much uh, for stopping by and watching this with me i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed my talking points i know i probably talked a lot in this one as always if you have any suggestions don't hesitate to leave them down below in the comment section and i'll try and get to them uh as best and as soon as i can i do read all your comments uh this is where this suggestion came from so thank you again to those of you guys that have recommended stuff to me i really enjoy uh doing pentatonics covers not just because of how excellent they are but because of you all the pentaholics uh, as a fan base you guys are so amazing and i cannot thank you guys enough um, so yeah, as always, if you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you really like the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content like this. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.